Hello everyone, welcome back to Think in the Circle. If you're watching this, it's likely you did not get the results you hoped and you're either stressed out or a little unsure about what to do next. It's clearing season, uh, perhaps you had a change of heart about the course you want to study. You may even got better results uh, and you wish, you wish to uh, switch your university or even your course. No, no matter the reason uh, you are here, let's dive into some of the tips and advice you need for successfully navigating the clearing period. So let's start with what is clearing, especially if you're not from the UK. Clearing is a process in the UK that helps students to find a university place if you did not get the grades that you need or if you do not receive any offers or you have decided to change your course choice. It is also an opportunity for people who might be applying for the first time later in the year. So it doesn't mean uh, that you went through UCAS. People who haven't been through the UCAS process might also find a place through clearing. So don't panic, clearing isn't a last resort. Uh, there are other solutions, but remember that thousands of students go through clearing every year and end up at universities they love and they do great. Last year alone, almost 70,000 students went through clearing. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about preparation. Uh, I know you're probably very eager to get started, hopefully you've already started, uh, but taking a little bit of time to get organized makes a huge difference for you. So research is number priority number one. Research, research, research. Make a list of the universities and courses that uh, you find interesting. Look into their entry requirements. Make sure that you look at the course content and location, uh, look up student reviews, uh, their university website, any student forums such as the student room are, are really good places to start. Make sure that you have all your documents ready. Everything you need to have, have it in, in hand. Uh, the clearing hotlines have already opened today from 7 a.m. 7 a.m. in many universities. Make sure you have your UCAS number, your exam results, your personal statement at hand, uh, any questions that you might want to ask universities about the university or the, or the course. So if you are prepared, make sure, if you are prepared, the process will be even smoother and quicker. So make sure you have things uh, that have to do with financing, things that have to do with accommodation, because it's going to be, that's going to be one of the key difficulties going through clearing. Uh, accommodation might be a little bit harder than if you had an offer uh, well in advance. But remember, you must keep your options open. So you might have a dream course, uh, but be flexible. There might be a similar course available uh, at the university you like. So consider that as well. Check if universities have alternative entry routes like uh, foundation years. If they have mature entry, a lot, of, uh, a lot of universities might have that. That might allow you to make a different decision than going through clearing this year. So once you've done your research, it's time to start making your calls. This is probably the most nerve-wracking part because you have to do it. Your parents cannot do it for you, but don't worry. Here are some tips to help you out. So start early. Universities start taking clearing calls uh, first thing in the morning. As I said earlier, most will open their phone lines from 7 a.m. So the earlier you call, the more options you'll have. Uh, some courses may fill up quickly, so aim to start calling as soon as the lines open. Uh, make sure that you're confident in how you speak. Make sure you're very clear. Uh, when you get through, introduce yourself and clearly explain your situation. Be ready to discuss your grades. They'll, they'll, that'll probably be one of their early questions because they're trying to match you up. Uh, say why you're interested in the course and how it fits with your career goals. And uh, remember, you're selling yourself to them. Now, in most cases, or in many cases, the people you'll be talking to could be uh, trainees or even students who have taken up a few hours to do to cover clearing hotlines. The first call will not be with a course director. If your questions are a little bit more advanced or if you insist on talking to a course director in many universities only then they will take your details and they will say they will pass them on and the course director may get in touch. So 
uh, they might be looking at a script so they will have very very fixed questions and you need to have the answers ready for them the easier you make it to them the more likely they're going to make you an informal offer that's your target an informal offer where they say yep very likely that we will accept you they'll, they'll keep your uh, name and UCAS number and then I will explain the process after that so keep a, pa a pen and a paper handy Write down any details, names of people you spoke to, the courses available, uh, and any steps that they might mention next. Very easy for you to get flustered and confused between different universities you've called, so your notes will, will help you stay organized. Make sure you do ask questions. The, the more questions you ask, the more information you're going to get. Things about the course content, which most of the information you can find online, but the student support, the accommodation options, the finance uh, possibilities, all of that will help you make a more informed decision. So after making a few calls, I suggest you make calls to at least three different universities. You might have several offers on the table, so it's decision time. The thing that I say to people is first always trust your internal voice trust your gut which university and course sounded the best for you don't just focus on rankings uh, think about where you'll be happy have a look you can even use google maps to look at the area of the of the university if you haven't visited one of the open days uh, in the in the previous months does that course align with your goals at the end of the day, uh, remember that most of the people who study a particular course, most architects don't end up being architects. Most uh, who study politics don't end up being in politics. The beauty of reading for a degree is that your critical and creative thinking and writing and communication and transferable skills are, are, are worked through. So the degree is, is a bigger goal to allow you to get into a workforce, but it's not the, the only uh, way. So consider the long term is what I'm what I'm trying to say, think of beyond just the next three years, what are your career prospects, other placement opportunities, will you enjoy living in that uh, area, in that city, in that village, depending on what, where the university is. Remember, life is a marathon, it's not a sprint, so you might not want to go through clearing this year, you might want to do an extra couple of years and uh, try to work for, for firms that align with your goals, align with the degree that you want to do, uh, and, and part of your question should be, you know, do you have mature student entry and uh, what do I need to, to have in order to achieve that? They might send you to a course director for that, they might not be ready uh, for that type of question. A lot of universities don't know all the options apart from they're ready for just clearing, taking in uh, students through the clearing process. So once you start deviating from that and asking different questions, uh, that might be a good question to get you directly connected to a course director. Before you accept an offer, confirm everything, make sure you meet the conditions, understand the accommodation process, and, and know what steps uh, to take next. So stay calm, stay positive, clearing can be stressful. Um, I know it's easy for me to say, <laughs> to say stay calm and positive, but this particular year, my daughter just got her results today and, and I'm back into being <laughs> super positive. Um, but I know it can be hard when you haven't achieved um, your grades. So whether you're entering clearing by choice or because of unexpected results, remember that this is just one step in your journey. Uh, many, many students have been fantastic students in, in my experience as an academic and they've come through clearing and they found their perfect course uh, and clearing uh, was the destiny for, for them, may, maybe the best thing that ever happened for you. If things don't go your way, there are still options, you know. I said before, take a gap year. You could receive exams. I don't suggest that. Uh, I would say take a, a gap year. You can look at apprenticeships. Uh, you can start with a company and, and you can do a degree apprenticeship. So it's not the end, yeah? It's just the beginning of a new part of, of your life. And if you consider life as a marathon, uh, you don't panic. Uh, you you plan ahead as to what you want to do and, and make sure that you, you you do the things that are right for you, not for your parents, not for uh, me, not for your course director, uh, not for your friends. Okay, always compare your life to you, not, not anyone else's life. What if you got better results and you find that there is suddenly a course that you were interested in that has gone into clearing and has dropped its entry levels and now you have met those, those levels? Well, call them, discuss your options, see if they give you an informal 
uh, offer uh, and you could self release through UCAS but be very very certain you want to do this okay so self-releasing lets you enter clearing uh, if you're already holding a firm offer from a new university but want to decline it to accept an offer from another uni to self-release you can log into your UCAS hub account and select decline my place next to the course you want to be released from however be very thorough in your research make sure you get an informal offer from another uni over the phone before taking this route because once you decline that offer you ain't going to be getting that old offer back if you change your mind again okay so be very very careful if you're going to choose that I don't recommend it because I am assuming you've done your research to have had that offer to begin with so I hope those tips help you feel more confident about navigating clearing if you have any more questions uh, feel free to ask them when you're calling those clearing uh, hotlines or drop them in the comments below I'll do my best to try and answer them I'll be checking in the next few days I know it's going to be uh, hard for, for you don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel for other type of advice especially once you become a student there's plenty of advice on the on the channel and share this with anyone who you think might find it useful good luck from greece uh, you've got this stay confident stay positive and uh, i hope i hear some positive news from you in the future all the best